It's Friday, and uh, I believe that's December the 14th. I'm going to use the GoPro today, get a little better resolution and a wider angle. So there you see the new um, garage lights are on, and you see the whole house there. This is mine and Mitch's trucks. There's the parking area. You can hear the wind. And you can hear branches falling off the trees. Yeah, I better get inside. Okay, so we put our recirculating line in for the hot water. Let's get some light on here. Okay, so that is the recirculating line coming down with the black tape over it. There's the hot and cold. And they go across and then the half inch line is the recirculating line and it goes all the way back over to the water heater's location. We're just going to make our way back here to show you what happens. I'll keep my light on it and there it is. It comes down here. So this is where the water heater is going to be and the pipes will come down. This recirculating line will come down and meet a uh, three-quarter inch galvanized pipe that's going to have a uh, Grundfos recirculating pump with timer on it so it can be set for certain times of the day. And then there's the hot and cold or just kind of up in the ceiling. And we've got our uh, electrical is uh, being cleaned up. I'm using a, I'm using a little uh, headlight to illuminate what I'm shooting so that we can see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go upstairs and take a look. There's the gas line. This is uh, a uh, flexible gas line that has a mesh uh, safety coat over it. Um, more about that later. Now, we'll show you some more about the plumbing here. This is a Kohler shower valve. This is the back side. So what we're doing is it's a uh, normally a tub shower valve, but you can also use it for if you have a shower and a hand spray. And this is just a shower here. So what we do is normally on a shower valve, the bottom here is the primary, which uh, normally will feed the tub spout, but in this case it's going to feed the shower head, which is over on that side of the room. Over, uh, yeah, you see that white block of uh, two by four and the white pipe coming down. We'll get over there in a minute. So it comes down from the valve cross and up through the top plate and then goes across the ceiling and over to the shower. Then the hand spray comes out here which is normally the shower outlet and uh, that is when you push the button on the valve in it diverts water to the uh, shower head but in this case it's going to divert over to the hand spray which is right there and so we'll go over and show you that a little bit more closely but you see the white pipe for that it comes across and in up top there and down to this so we have our uh, plumbing set up so here's what's going with the plumbing the hot water comes up and is teed off at the valve here. It's a three quarter inch pipe to it and then it reduces, uh, it's a three quarter by half by half T, meaning it has a half inch side out and a half inch going up. And so what happens is 
the uh, three quarter inch is the main hotline, which uh, goes from valve to valve to valve in the house or from uh, plumbing location like to the laundry, to the laundry tub, to the guest bath, to the lavatory sink and then finally ending at the shower and then from here it goes that half inch red pipe is the recirculating line that goes back over to the water heater and we just showed you that in the video a little before that. Now also we use a red for the hot water, a blue for the cold water, and the white is for uh, mixed water and uh, that's just the standard that we use. The white pipe is a combination of hot and cold and then also it's generally not a pipe that you're going to connect into like if you were remodeling a house and you wanted to hook into the hotline, you would know that if it's a red pipe, it's hot, and blue, it was cold. And if you saw a white pipe, then you would know that it is a mixed line that is going from a shower or tub valve to a faucet location. So let me walk over here and show you these now. So the faucet is, or the pipe comes up to the ceiling, and for the hand spray it comes over and down, and this here is a uh, Kohler hand spray outlet, and the end of there is on a pipe that has O-rings and that uh, polished um, pewter fixture will slide in and out to go to the tile surface of the finished shower. And over on this side here, you see we have the nail plate and the pipe comes down and into the shower valve. And the shower valve is basically set pretty much the threads are flush to the surface of the wall. Now also, if you look at the uh, fittings here, these are stainless steel crimp fittings. And what's nice about these is you see they have two crimp lines on them and those two crimps crimp on either side of a rib on the fitting. And I uh, will show you that here in just a second. Here is an example of a fitting. <clears throat> this is a three quarter inch fitting. So you can see, it's a little too bright. You can see the uh, ribs on the fitting. You see these ribs here. And with the shower or the stainless steel crimp ring, you can see how it crimps here and here which is on either side of the center ring and so it creates a better seal than these other copper crimp rings that they just flat crunch smash over everything whereas these crunch over uh, in between the rings so here is the crimp tool for that and you can see the crimp tool has two uh, crimping surfaces in it and those crimp surfaces give this a uh, crimp that is similar to like a hydraulic um, hose. So I just thought I would explain that a little bit to you. There we go. Okay. Oh, and then also our uh, clients gave us these here Christmas presents. Dan the Sausage Man uh, sausage package. So that's nice of them. 
So let me, uh, Mitch is about to forget this, so let me get his attention here. Hang on for a second. Uh, hey Mitch, uh, don't forget your sausages. Don't forget your sausage. What? Your oh. sausage. Yeah, I gotta get my dad's sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we have these here um, copper uh, valve uh, hose fittings, and we have the PEX connects to them down below there. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave me paint for Christmas. Okay, so we're getting ready to do our uh, leak tests on the drains. So we have our caps on all the drains now, and we'll fill those up all the way. Okay, well, have a great trip. Yeah, probably won't see it after Christmas. Let me pause. Okay, now back to this. Okay, so these are for the angle stops under the sink. And the PEX comes up and connects to the copper down below there. You can just make it out. Get in there a little more closely. And uh, so we have those attached with um, some. Hose clamps uh, or pipe clamps. These are all plastic, so uh, but you can see they're fairly solid. Okay, moving along, uh, we have some clamping under here too. Um, yeah, we like to have everything clamped off. And this here is the front side of the shower valve. So they have kind of wanted an unusual setup here where this is the valve and this is the diverter here you push in to divert for the hand spray or just leave it alone for the shower head which is over there and the hand spray is over here okay and then we're going to be building a uh, custom shower base and tile so uh, that'll be an interesting video. Anybody interested in learning how to do a custom concrete shower base is going to want to watch that video. Okay, so this here is the back side of the laundry. There's the laundry uh, box connection. And we have these here formed corners for the PEX pipe. And um, what's nice about these corners is there is no crimp connections. They are PEX connections. There's no chance for a leak. Let me close the window here. Didn't want Mitch to forget his Christmas present. Let me go in this side here. I think I lost enough weight to be able to fit through here. Yes, I did. Works very nice when you lose 75 pounds of weight. Okay, so this here is the side for the laundry sink. And uh, there's just a little bit different of a way to uh, hook these um, uh, pipes up for the sink angle stops. This is where the laundry tub will be. There's the drain for the laundry tub with the white cap on it. And this is the drain for the laundry. You can see there's the hot and the cold and those are uh, water hammer arresters on top of the valves. That clear pipe is a drain for the furnace and when the uh, seal gets uh, removed there for the uh, laundry drain, then that pipe will just go down into that and drain the furnace um, 
moisture that gets collected. Okay, and so over here is just the same thing here. Um, this is for the bathroom laundry sink, and you can see the um, outlets there for the uh, sink again. And this here is, uh, this pipe here is the vent for the sink down in the garage downstairs. And then over there, that's the vent for the sink for the laundry, or I'm sorry, for the bathroom. And then up here is the vent that comes across here for the toilet. And then each uh, fixture does have its own vent. This one here is a vent for this toilet. And that uh, right here is a clean out access. <clears throat> and then over on that wall, you can see the, you can just make out left of the ladder a black pipe going up and that is the vent for the shower and the sink uh, bathroom sink in the master bath and these pipes come across the ceiling here uh, there's yeah there's one there and there's the other one there and then they go over here and connect into the main stack and the reason that we brought those back over to the main stack is so that we had a minimum number of pipes protruding through the roof uh, it's a cedar sh uh, shake roof and we want to have as m few protrusions through it as possible and this here is a stud repair kit and we put this in because the um, uh, we have a two inch pipe coming through the stud there and so the wood gets a bit thin so Simpson makes this thing and uh, it fits over the pipe it's a pretty good gauge like a 16 gauge and it reinforces the stud okay so I think that that covers um, our uh, progress on the house. We are uh, a couple of days away from getting the uh, inspections now. And so you see that we do have these pipes are all nice clamped together. Lots of clamps. And right here we do have 20 mil OT tape and that is rub protection we have it down here too so anywhere that pipes can rub uh, we make sure that they won't and then these are pipe clamps we like to make sure that uh, the pipes are all solidly held in place and so that is about it. So for it is now December 14th. Let me use the glasses here and the hat. But it's been a good week. We're getting close to starting to do inside work on the project. We will have our plumbing and electrical inspection on Tuesday, I believe. And then on the 19th is when insulation starts getting filled in. So there's a lot happening real fast. Um, if you like the videos, uh, we've got this whole house building series of videos, start to finish, begins with the foundation and goes all the way through up to where we are now. And if you keep following, you will see the completed project. So it's going to be really cool when it's all done. It's a big project and, uh, Maybe you'll learn something or get some ideas for your own project. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you keep following us and uh, watching our videos. And um, thank you for just tuning in. All right, bye-bye.